This is Master Geo here at the Adult Entertainment Expo for day two, Thursday. And I am with the very lovely Romy Rain. How are you doing, Romy? I'm doing very well, thank you. So how was it yesterday here at the Expo? I thought it was a lot of fun. I think day one is probably the best day to be here because we were saying off camera, all the girls are really fresh, everybody's really excited, everybody wants to be in town right now. So uh, it was really good, really busy. Uh, a lot of people running around, um, really great fans. It was, it was busier than people expected it to be uh, day one, but I think day one's underestimated. You want to catch people like at their, their best before they're hungover and tired by Saturday. So what made you want to get into the business? Um, well, my story is actually probably not as interesting as some girls who like kind of tripped and fell into it. I actually pretty meticulously planned it. I, well, I started exotic dancing at 19, but before then I was doing like glamour modeling. Uh, my mother was a model. My mother actually was a nude model sometimes. Uh, I worked for Playboy. I worked Playboy parties. I did cam work. I just, I literally progressed for years. Um, so technically speaking, I've been adult entertaining for about seven, eight years now, but I've only been in hardcore porn about three. I got in at 25. I just wanted to make sure I was ready. I think that's honestly something some girls really don't think about because, you know, there's still a lot of life left, you know, right, like right. if you maybe make a decision a little too young or not very informed at least. So I just wanted to make sure I was comfortable and liked it. And I always been a big fan of sex, been a very sexual person, but I don't like to go out and meet people <laughs> and mess around. Like this is controlled chaos. I enjoy controlled chaos. And these kind of situations are just a lot of fun. I get to wear a corset and run around a hotel room for four days signing autographs. It's cool. Did you watch adult films before you got into the business? Uh, yeah, actually, I did. Um, but I, well, I think like to get off, I watched like some of the more like raunchy, raunchy stuff. But I think the porn that I really kind of fell in love with a little bit was the really not necessarily high end, but like the bigger budget kind of porns where like the makeup was really intense and interesting. They had like outfits on. They looked like sex goddesses. So in my mind, that's. That's kind of like the highlight of porn for me. That's like something, I'd like to be a combination of the two. I think my movies are a little bit on the dirtier side. I'm definitely not uh, softcore, but I, I still believe in glamor. I still believe that, you know, you can be a sex goddess and not just like a cum dumpster. I, you know what I'm saying? Like there are levels to the game. Like I, I wanna be somebody that like, you might be a little bit afraid to fuck, you know? You know what I'm saying? So what have you enjoyed so far the most about it? Uh, oh, kind of everything that I've been saying. Uh, it's very busy. My fans are great. Uh, I love browsers. I'm signing for browsers this whole week. Uh, I've done a lot of work for browsers. I won their browsers house competition, um, and I did my own series for them called Deadly Rain. It just completely came out. I did my some of my biggest scenes. They are the only company who have my uh, DPs. I did my first and second uh, double penetration and... Uh, airtight, which is three guys. We're always like, what's an airtight? I'm like, think about it. Uh, <laughs> use your imagination. Uh, so yeah, it's really exciting, I think, in all honesty. And maybe honestly, the most exciting part is it's probably my biggest year thus far. I think people know who I am more than ever. And uh, I have a lot of things going on. I have some really cool nominations. And it's just, I'm excited. I think this is, this is a good time for me. I'm kind of just trying to ride the wave and just be present and enjoy it. Right. I was going to say, in a very short period of time, you've achieved a lot, actually. So how do you feel? What, what, what's like the key to your success, you think? Um, you know, I think everybody has like their different little secrets and like how they really kind of get far. Cause some girls get far very quick. Um, I, I think I and some people like work really hard and like don't don't. And that's that's not cool. But, <laughs> but for what I like to think that I try to do is kind of how I got into the industry. I try to be a little more planned and thought out. I, I care about what I do. I put a lot of time and effort and thought and my own money into it. You know, I I care about like wardrobe and makeup. I've actually I styled myself. I actually got my cat suits and all everything I wore in my browser series. I had custom made and fitted for my body on my dime because I care and it's like I, I would rather do something well or not do it at all like I don't care if it's porn I don't care if it's a sex scene like if your job is to suck a dick you be the best goddamn cocksucker you can be you know what I'm saying yes. like be good or be good at something so I just I think I, I feel hopefully the the effort comes through that like I'm not just trying to do it to do it I didn't just get into it because I wanted attention or I needed like to pay my rent one month like it was really 
something I thought about and something I wanted to be good at and that I took seriously as a business. It really is adult entertainment. It's a big business. People, some people still don't really take it seriously, but I think I would like to be a person that tries to make them take it seriously. Uh, I agree. I agree. Uh, what's your favorite type of scene to shoot? Um, hmm. Well, I think I really do enjoy the hardcore gonzo, like where you kind of just come in and you like tease and it's very, very, very hypersexual. And like, you know, here it's very dirty and sloppy and you're gagging and things are happening. And yeah, um, so those are really fun. I think I, as a performer, I probably excel at those scenes because I like to be able to let go like that, controlled chaos in a sense. Uh, I feel very safe in that situation, even though it seems like crazy things are going on. So I just get to let go. But at the same time, it's a lot of fun as well to like play characters to like because some of the early porn I watched was like the big budget, like Jenna Jameson, Brianna Banks stuff where it was like serious and to project being the sex goddess even more to be almost taken a little bit more seriously. Uh, so at a little bit of both. I think uh, as a performer, I probably excel at the hardcore gonzo, but I really, truly enjoy uh, being able to like uh, be more of a representation of adult performers as well. Well, you had mentioned oral before. You're awesome at oral. Thanks. So uh, what's the secret to a good BJ? Mm, you know, I get asked that sometimes. Uh, for me, I think it just, it's, it's okay to be sloppy. I think some girls are afraid to get messy, but you know, guys like it. I've honestly, there, I think maybe like two out of like 50 guys I've had sex with in the industry didn't like the wet, sloppy nature of it. You're kind of supposed to gag a little bit. You spit on it, like you know, get in there. Don't be afraid to mess up your makeup. That's the whole thing. You can't, I just don't think you're giving a good blow job if it, nothing looks like it happened. I say that after sex too. Like if your mascara is not at least a little bit smudged, it probably wasn't a crazy, wild, hardcore fuck fest. Like, I don't know. I've never looked that. I don't look like this within five minutes. That's why I'm like, as long as the pictures and the intro are good, it's fine. That's all I care about. So I'll make sure that this looks good at first for the presentation. And then I just go like ham sandwich. Oh, and then also the pepper grinder. You, it's using uh -huh. both hands. Like, as, especially as it's sloppy, you can't do that when it's dry. So make sure you get it nice and like, and then use both hands, go back and forth, up and down, I'm telling you. it's Maybe it's an Italian thing, pepper grinder, but that's I something have, too. You know, I'm Italian, I haven't thought of that, but yeah. I like that. Like, yes, exactly. So I think be sloppy, don't be afraid to mess up your face, and use your hands. Don't be all hands, because then guys don't like it when it feels like you're just giving them a blow job when it's supposed to be, or a hand job when it's supposed to be a blow job. So yeah, it's a delicate balance. It's a gift. I don't know. Oh, oh, and I have a very big tongue. Gene Simmons. <laughs> that works for me. So that really actually helps. If you have a good tongue, a lot of spit, and use your hands. That was pretty hot, by the way. <laughs> well, people tell me that. They point it out. I'm like, you have a really long tongue. I'm like, oh, thanks. I didn't know that until I got into porn, by the way. I was like, oh, neat. Good for me. <laughs> what nominations are you most excited for at the AVNs? Um, well, I'm actually nominated for Best Oral Sex Scene, so honestly, that would be a cool one to win just to feel like that's kind of a special skill, like on a resume. Like, <laughs> under special skills, I actually really do give a good blowjob. Um, it's actually a nomination for a three-way blowjob, which is cool, also fun. Uh, Chanel Preston and Allie Hayes, obviously both great performers, so it'd be cool if we all won together. So we all win for a triple BJ, that'd be neat. Um, I'm up for Best Three-Way Sex Scene, which uh, that scene won at Expiz. I won my first Expiz award last week for that scene. So that was really exciting. Uh, so it's up for a three-way sex scene at AVN. Then best group sex scene for the Brazzers House finale, which would also be awesome because I won that because for my first DP. So I feel like that would be like a double mini win. And performer of the year. That's kind of big. And best porn star website, but like the big ones they're like performer of the year best oral sex scene best three-way sex scene best group sex scene well best of luck i'll be pulling for you thank you i've actually have yet to win an avn so maybe this is my year well hopefully it is you deserve it you're one of my personal favorite performers thank yes you. well i mean i think that's the biggest thing to me as long as people enjoy my porn as long as you keep watching it and buying it and i get hired that's that's really all that matters right that's yes. real success. Exactly, exactly. Even a trophy. Oh, Even if they don't like go. me, it's okay. As we, long as, as, well, as they I, pay me. I love you, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what do you like to do on your spare time? Um, I'm kind of funny. I'm just a little bit lazy, I guess, because I, I mean, I work a lot and then I prepare for work a lot and a lot of stuff goes into, you know, hair, nails, all that jazz. Uh, I like to, I love Netflix. 
I'm a big fan of movies in bed. I got these really nice, like, $1,000 sheets. I've been spending a lot of time with them. Uh, yeah, I like to relax, honestly. I believe in creature comforts. I like to be outside and explore and do active things. But um, in terms of people, I was like, well, you don't go out. I'm like, I go out a lot. I just don't, like, go to bars and clubs. And I'm not a crazy night person anymore. I worked at a lot of nightclubs, so I think that's part of it, too. And then, believe it or not, if you want to be good at this, too, in the industry, uh, porn is a relative nine to five. Like, you have to get up early. You have to be on set looking fresh. Like, you get your makeup done. You photos, sex, like you're honestly there most of the day if it's like a production, which I, I work on a lot lately. So, I mean, it's almost like a respect for your career as well to try to respect yourself and live a little bit more of a mellow lifestyle. I just turned 28. I'm not a teen anymore. I can't do it. Uh, uh, I know. I'm getting, I need my rest. I'm going to need like eight hours soon. I used to be able to be up all night, but not anymore. I, you know, it takes a minute, you guys. But thank you. <laughs> so any final words? Um, just thank you so much for all your support. I'm honestly surprised at how much people have like shown me love in my career. I'm, I'm so thankful that people care that I care and like my dirty porn and hopefully more and better things from here and even bigger 2016. Um, any place where they, your fans can reach you at? Oh, yeah. Um, so I'm very active on social media. I think that's like a big thing for fans nowadays. People want to connect with you. Uh, and that's a lot of fun, too. Fans like find out some of my work and stuff before me. Um, well, my Twitter is Romy, R-O-M-I underscore R-A-I-N. Uh, Instagram is Romy Rain. Uh, Snapchat is the Romy Rain. Uh, website is Romy Rain dot com. Um, yeah. So everywhere. Find me. <laughs> Finder, you're awesome on social media. So, all right. Well, it was a pleasure to talk to you, Romy. Thank you. Thank you so much. See you guys soon.